Hello Aquarians and Crosswatchers, welcome to your video. So I was guided to use several different decks today and I channeled a song and it's, um, I think it's, it was a good day by Ice Cube. Anyways, I got the feeling when I woke up, I heard that song and I got the feeling that something's going to go better than expected. Um, that's the feeling I got with it, all right? So anyway, I've already said my prayers, and I just want to be the first to tell you guys that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here, for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you, and the divine values you, and thank you, thank you so much for being here. So, like I said, I was guided to use several decks, so I'm just going to get into it. I was guided to use actually four different Oracle decks, and if you're still here at the end of the video, I have Archangel Michael guided messages, and I also have messages that somebody may want to tell you, okay? Just guided to use that. And then the tarot decks are sort of Halloween themed, okay? I'm using Stranger Things and Ghostbusters, so that's going to be interesting. So anyway, guys, thank you for coming to my channel, Aquarius by Aquarius. I am your host, Colleen, and I am doing this reading on October. October 22nd and this reading is going to air at 10 30 Eastern Standard Time p.m. and there's a live chat with this reading so if you're here at 10 30 Eastern Standard Time you will have the option to be part of the chat anyway guys let's see what wants to come out here show me what I need to see ho ho we have two 52 which you could be seeing fives, fives are change. You could be seeing twos coming together. This card literally says mending. Maybe you're mending things, but I just, I see two people um, getting along very well. And five and seven together is the chariot, and that's very soon. And when you look at the bottom of the deck, very soon. You could also be seeing fours. Again, here's seven, which is chariot numbers. And then together, they're 11. You could also be seeing 11, 11. Now, I don't know why, but I was guided to pull from the Angels of Abundance. A lot of people like to know about love and money. So I have a love oracle deck, and I have um, this Angels of Abundance. And this is if anybody um, is curious about improving finances or just anything about that. Let's see what I need to pull out here. I think two came out. One came out upright, one came face down. So, sever the vows of poverty. It's going to be very important to do that. And it says, Dear one, there is no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously, in any lifetime. As you do so, all efforts of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. Wow, that's powerful right there unsever the vows of poverty um you can just verbally say it right now i undo the vows of poverty in all lifetimes in all directions that includes anyone that i may have shared lives with i want my abundance i deserve my abundance and i am ready for my abundance because being ready for it is so important now what came face down says positivity faith and optimism you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. So don't be ready to put that torch down just yet. Or ever. Never give up. Going to pull from this deck here. I don't use it a lot, but it's a lot of 5D energy for me. So I'm going to... I'm going to use it here and see what wants to come out. Anything here want to come out? Any messages here for the Aquarian Collective or energy that's around Aquarius? Also cross watchers here. Several came face down. For me, face down is what you don't see. So let's see what wants to come out here. What is meant for you to see? High Priestess. Ha <laughs> ha! Expanding consciousness. So... This is probably you um, expanding your, um, your intuition, your knowing. Really, intuition is third eye, but knowing is like crown chakra stuff. Knowing is being connected to everything. You are part of everything. And when you're part of everything, you're in the energy of knowing. 
But when you're being intuitive, you're more in the third eye chakra. And that is like, well, I think it's this. I feel like it's this. But when you really connect to spaciousness, oneness, practicing presence, you are in that space of knowing. You are in the space of now. So it's very powerful energy right there as well. What you don't see could be quite a few things. <laughs> Master alchemist. When I see high priestess, I see master alchemist. Anybody, uh, if anybody suspects any kind of magic, doing magic being done, or if you're doing it yourself, this is confirmation that it's coming out. We have the chosen one. And I do feel like, um, first of all, I feel like everyone is chosen. Not everyone answers, right? There's nobody here above or below um, in the universe's eyes and God's eyes, right? We're all uh, equal. We are all part of this one great source. But um, not everybody chooses to answer the call. We are all great. We are all great. It's a choice, though. Not everyone has to answer the call. And we have practice self-love. I believe that's energy been coming out for you guys for months. And I believe that you are doing that, even if it's step by step. Nurturing your inner child. These might be things that you're doing and you're completely unaware of. You might be chosen to do something. Uh, working some job or never really um, trying to go after a dream. Because maybe not really feeling it was you, but having an intuition, but not a knowing. Just keep, keep in mind that um, you can absolutely do anything that you want. That everything that you want has already been created. Now we have Twin Flame facil <laughs> Facilitator and it's Expansive Growth. And you see this sort of pyramid, this triangle here. And I do believe, um, you know, some of you could be healing things with your Twin Flame. Also could be activated by your Twin Flame. A lot of us, the majority, majority of us are activated by our Twin Flames. Okay, and it puts us on some sort of trajectory. Um, so keep that in mind. But... When I see mending, maybe some of you are going to be mending things with a twin flame. A misconception about twin flames is that you have to be in a romantic relationship. And it's because you really get addicted to that energy. But that energy is your very own energy. And you're really just addicted to your own energy. And when they ghost, when they reject, when they run into another direction, we feel rejected by our own energy which makes it hurt so much more so just keep in mind what that whole thing is if you've dealt with that just continue on your own path your own trajectory and um that's all you have to worry about you don't have to chase them you don't have to have any expectations about them at all let's see who wants to come out here for love and keep in mind this isn't a message for everyone there might be something in these oracles maybe every oracle message applies to you but maybe just one or two anyway we have on the bottom unexpected and we have storm warning so be prepared some of you might be hearing from somebody surprise unpredictable shocking unusual and you know i did channel today was a good day i think that i do think that something will go better than planned for somebody, maybe it's someone who's going to connect with you and they're like, I didn't expect it to go that well. Anyway, oh, that's what's face down. We have uh, music, okay? Somebody might be a musician or like um, kind of be in that industry or close to it um, or have someone that they're involved with who is. And it says also snake charmer though. So snakes for me. Can mean two things shedding skin but oftentimes it's sometimes an enemy or a karmic and then we have ghosted so i do feel that someone who ghosted for some of you is going to want to come back um and a lot of times twin flames do ghost and then we have the snake i didn't even see that but it said here snake charmer deception shady temptation and enemy and a lot of times uh anyone who's dealing with the twin flame They'll be guided to go to a karmic. They'll be guided to go anywhere but in your direction, especially if you're chasing them. But soulmates, too. Soulmates. We end up with soulmates who are sometimes karmic and sometimes we have really good soulmates. It really depends on how much we need to learn a specific lesson. If we're not learning a specific lesson the way that we should, then it's going to come harder and faster through another energy. 
It's all about us, guys. It's all about us to uh, uh, to awaken us, to get us to ascend. What you don't see, we have family. Generations, children, ancestors, and origin. What I do feel like is that whatever connection is coming in, whether mending or not, I do feel like you two are going to feel like family. You're going to feel like a very familiar feeling. I don't care if they're a twin flame, not a twin flame, soulmate, whoever this is. Could be a family member wanting to um, unite, heal things. You could be meeting a soulmate and you guys could be mending, you know, bringing your families together, blending them. You could be having families. This is a broad reading. This is a general reading. So I do feel like above all, you're going to come into connection with someone that you feel very familiar to and vice versa. So let's get into the tarot. I want to do the Celtic spread. Today was a good day. Something goes better than expected. <laughs> uh, it goes better than expected. Didn't even need to use my AK. <laughs> Definitely someone's going to have an experience and it's going to be way better than they planned it or thought it would be. We have... Mm. This is the seven of dice. All right, this seven of dice here. This is this is a treasure, and you know the thoughts that come to mind when we think of a treasure. We never think about giving treasure back to somebody, do we? We never think about leaving the treasure right where it's at. No, we want the treasure. That's why we go on treasure hunts. So this seven of dice is representing something that's very tempting to take okay but we don't know what that is yet but that's the first card and taking is stealing and stealing is deceptive but it not only represents that but it also represents a very strong strategy because nobody's just going to walk in there take something and walk out and just be easy peasy okay there's going to have to be a strategy behind that and there's also a hint of silence because we don't want to tip anybody off that we're there. So this card represents strategy, thievery, silence. We're going to see what it means, though. We have the world, all right? And we have two hands holding hands. And it's the end. It's the beginning. It is a portal. It is... A fixed energy of Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. Don't know where we're going with that. King of Spokes. All right. King of Spokes is... I mean... Okay, so this is water energy. This is a king of um, cups. And it's in the reverse. So with this energy, someone could be emotional okay could be emotional and then we have the nine of spokes which is nine of cups so there's a wish fulfillment that somebody wants here all right and we do see two hands and we do see a hand here ghosted all right there could be someone who ghosted who wants to come in we see mending um also, hands are being held here. I feel like somebody um, is dreaming of a different outcome. And we have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. And we have the three of we have the three of spokes. So this is somebody who wants a reunion. This is definitely someone who would love to talk to you, spend time with you, converse with you. Um, and we have the leaves here, so this could be happening when the time of year when the leaves are falling, all right? Um, but it's a close connection, but it's also a decision because the lovers um, can talk. For me, lovers is a close connection. It's a decision. Um, it's also a card that has an archangel, okay, watching over two people traditionally, and it can be linked to twin flames. So just to keep that 
here it's on the bottom nevertheless it's a very close connection and it's a decision to reconnect the crown says the hierophant in the reverse and that is <laughs> um, that's Taurus energy and it's in the reverse here but it is major arcana so you know I want to clarify that because the Hierophant can talk about, you know, learning a lesson. It can talk about teacher-student. It can talk about um, taking the highest path. It can also talk about a separation, an ending of a marriage, um, you know, whatever that is. It, it's very traditional, but it's, it's a concept, right? The Hierophant is a concept because often a person will follow a path and the reason I say that because we have the cherry on the bottom often the person will follow a path of what they believe right like I believe I'm going to get this treasure but I've got to be extremely um, strategic about it so we talk about structure and we talk about beliefs along with that hierophant so we're going to have to clarify that Chariot is still there, and that is Cancerian energy. Near future is the star, Aquarius energy, all right? It's the star. It's, you see all of those um, fireworks. It's a wish fulfillment. And we got right here. So this is the thing. It's somebody's wish to reconnect with you. I, right here, I don't even really need to clarify anything, but everybody comes in the chat, likes to chat, but we'll see what else wants to come out. The, the, the recent past is a wish fulfillment. The near future, the wish fulfillment is the star. But I've got to be very strategic about this. You know, maybe even somebody has a spouse or someone else around. And they have to be strategic. Or maybe someone has a third person around, like a family member. And they have to be very strategic when it comes to talking to you. self position we have the ace of spokes that's in the reverse we have temperance in the reverse and that is another archangel card but it's a divine timing card it's a card of patience in other words everything happens in its right time and we just have to give it its time to happen all right um and it might not be time yet for you to to connect all right and then we have the three of strands in the reverse and the four of strands in the reverse now in, in the upright this is a ghosting card but this is excuse me strands no 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 this is another twin flame card all right so the three of strands in the reverse and the four of strands in the reverse. I don't believe you're going to expect this person. Um, this person is using, I feel, a strategy. All right. They don't want to be seen. They don't want to be heard. They don't want to be expected. But clearly the wish fulfillment to connect with, we have the star. This is a strong wish fulfillment to mend things, connect with. And someone could be, you know, in their emotions. Someone could have water in their chart. doesn't really matter. Really don't pay attention to the signs. Just pay attention to the energy. Three of Wands in the reverse tells me it's not going to be expected. And that Four of Wands in the reverse, you know, we've already seen the lovers. Now we've seen the Four of Wands. That's 11-11 card. So I do, as a reader, when I do read for Twin Flames, those are two cards that do stick out to me. But it does not have to be that at all. Remember, it's a close connection. It's a connection where you're going to feel like a familiarity with them or feel like they are actual family. But it is a connection that looks like got ghosted. So, we're going to see something may literally happen here. Um, you may see this person very soon i have two cards that that talk about very soon here all right we're going to clarify with the ghostbusters deck 
tell me about the seven of dice get all these cards that want to come up let's see what we got all right so we have the five of cups on the bottom five of traps okay traps as cups and that talks about someone being um, sort of sad and regretful over something now let's pull this out and see what we have here we have the magician um, Mercury energy, also Gemini, Virgo energy. So this, this could be somebody who ha has, someone here could be, have that in their chart. But I need to see more of the picture here. We have the nine of traps. All right, yes. Okay, so this is someone who's not really been able all right, someone has not been able to manifest, to come forward, all right, to speak, to have a reunion. It's been hard um, for whatever reason. And it could literally be because there's a, there's a connection around you or them. It just doesn't make it possible. Um, but it also could be because someone is a little bit too emotional right now. Maybe somebody wants to connect but they don't want to be a hot mess. They don't want to be, you know, an emotional wreck. They don't want to be crying and, you know, sniffles and all that stuff. Maybe they, they want to have their ish together, you know, because that king of spokes, excuse me. Yes, that's the king. The king of spokes is part. That's the king of cups and it is in the reverse. But I have here the knight of traps. And that's another, again, water energy. I feel like somebody could have water in their chart, whether they do or not. This is Cancerian energy. This is just water energy, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But it's, for me, I feel like somebody has a lot they want to say or offer. Um, look at this person's face. It just looks terrified. You know? And I feel like this is a person is probably, could be a person who um, is younger, a person who is emotionally immature, doesn't really know how to handle their emotions. I feel like this person is terrified to deal with their emotions. But more than anything, they want to reach out. I don't know if you guys have recently connected or if anyone reached out to anyone. But this this is this is a wish fulfillment. This wish fulfillment is, you know, maybe this person has heard some good news or you've heard some good news. Or it's about, this can be about good news. It can be about reaching out. It can be about persistent. But it has to do with this wish fulfillment. And I do feel like someone wants to come forward, okay? We have literally here a bike. So I do feel like it's taking someone some time to come forward, but I do feel like someone wants to come forward. I do feel like someone's not emotionally ready to come forward. And then when we have the higher font, what's clarifying that is the king of streams in the reverse, which is Aquarius. We have Aquarius Taurus right here. Maybe there's somebody in the way of that connection. Okay. Maybe there's somebody who is against you and them. I want to know more about that. Hierophant and Aquarius card. Somebody could even be manipulating the situation. But sometimes, sometimes that card, even though it's your, it's a card of Aquarius, sometimes it's a professional card 
and next to the higher font reverse you know can be an attorney so I just want to I want to make more clarity with that all right it's the six of traps all right so it's a six of cups all right so it's a very close connection so in other words you have a very close connection with somebody and maybe there's an age difference it doesn't really matter it could be an emotional maturity difference but it's definitely an energy of somebody wants to connect somebody wants to mend things all right it's their wish fulfillment here it's been hard to do this they there's a reason somebody feels they have to do something in secret if you are already in a relationship Taurus Aquarius or just in a relationship and somebody doesn't want you to do it there's some family member against it this would be like you might go in a lope you know you might go and get married and just don't tell nobody it doesn't have to be Aquarius Taurus that's just an analogy um, for whatever reason there is an energy around your energy and their energy someone's energy here and somebody feels they definitely have to be you know quiet about it someone has to use some sort of extreme planning if they're going to get away with this okay Tell me about the near future, which is the star, which is Aquarius. The world and the upright. We have the world twice. You know, the world can also stand for the World Wide Web, you know. We have all these hands and we have this bubble and we have this child and we do have this younger energy and there might be a lot of people who are in your business or their business when it comes to y'all's business they don't need to be there but neither that doesn't matter it's still a portal it's still an open and closer of doors I feel like what's ending and this also is Aquarius energy. I mean, it's fixed. It's Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. And it's clarifying Aquarius. I do feel like separation is ending. I do feel like someone's strategy or plan is going to work. Because I have the card of Mercury in reverse clarifying the seven of dice. So someone has got to be shh, quiet. There cannot be any talk of this. We can't tell nobody our plans. Shh. If this is going to be successful, we really got to do this right. Self-position, ace, ace of spokes. Tell me about the ace of spokes in reverse, which is an ace of cups, by the way the tower yes you know because if this isn't done just right this could all fall apart someone's really trying to avoid a tower someone's really trying to avoid interference you see how all of this lightning is interference we have people in this building but this tower can affect a lot of people more than one person so we must be very very strategic we must be uh, very quiet in how we move so that this doesn't come crumbling down on us so that this doesn't backfire I feel like someone's gonna be like we can't tell anybody about us right now and I know how some people feel about that we can't tell anybody that we're doing this because other people knowing about us is going to bring negative eyes, evil eye, but it's also going to hurt other people because I do feel like some there are some people against your connection. Tell me about temperance. It's not the right time. It's in the reverse. It's like, we'll tell everybody when the time is right. Now is just not the right time.
Yeah, five of wands and seven of marshmallows. <laughs> it's all about timing. Temperance in reverse and the seven of marshmallows in reverse. It's not the right time to tell everybody else about us. Now it's not the time. Or about what we're doing. Or about what we're planning to do. It's not the right time to tell others our plan. And it's the four of wands reverse. And we got the four of wands reverse here. And it could be um, you and this person. Or someone could move out of a house. Or um, someone could leave a job. The four of wands can, is literally a union, reunion. It's And that's a reunion. Uh, four of wands can be a home. It can be a place of celebration. We can't let anyone know we're doing this. We can't let anyone know. We can't let anyone know that you're moving. We can't let anyone know that we are back in connection again. We can't let it, we can't let anyone know this. Like it's got to be very quiet right now until the right time. Tell me about the three of wands. Strength in reverse. Leo energy. And the high priestess. This is all about. I don't know who wants to mend things with you. Or vice versa. But it's going to have to be hush hush right now. Because of somebody else involved. Or more than one person involved. Because it's going to actually. Um, hurt the connection. Or hurt others around the connection. Yeah. I feel like there's a karmic in the in the you know the doesn't have to be could be an Aries Leo Sag. Tell me about that four of strands in the reverse, and then we're going to close out with what they want to say. That's a lot. Six of Wands. Okay, it's going to be a major success. Whatever this is, this plan, the strategy. Who's ever thinking about it, thinking it up? It's going to work. Okay. Um chariot and it's going to make its plan known very soon all right whoever's planning this uh reunion whoever's planning mending things things are going to happen very soon somebody's definitely got a very strategic plan and we have the knight of marshmallows in the reverse with knight of pentacles in the reverse next to the chariot that's virgo energy cancer energy but it means it's going to happen fast like it's going to be executed very quickly. And um, we have the ten of, ten of Wands in the reverse, which is, uh, no, excuse me, Ten of Streams is air. So this is a release. This is a release, okay? This is an ending and a new beginning right there. And you can't tell nobody. This is another card of communication and travel. You can't tell anybody we're doing this. There's so much around this that can't tell anybody this plan. Yep. On the bottom is the four of, of traps in the reverse. I do feel like, and then we have the king of traps. Um, this person, maybe this person is not ready. We got the king of cups reverse here the king of cups up right here on the bottom when it comes to uh the four of cups somebody somebody isn't ready it's not the right time now maybe it has to do with emotions but i feel like it has to do with the plan i feel like someone's planning something it's like someone's making the plan then they're going to be ready to work the plan but we can't tell anybody about the plan the plan has got to be hush hush until the right time it's not like forever because it will it either hurt someone involved some kind of way. It's not the right time. Anyway, we're going to close out with um, Archangel messages. And then we're going to close out. I don't know why I was guided, but uh, messages they may want to tell you. I was guided to use these uh, decks, so the reading is probably a little longer. But for those of you who like to chat... This says stay the course. 
this landed on the six of traps six of cups it's a very close connection whatever is happening i feel like you're going to be empowered by it. It says get your power back. You've forgotten who you are. You're a child of the divine, so take back your power. I feel like whatever's about to happen is going to make you more empowered. And I feel that um, if there's a reason that somebody wants to connect and for whatever reason it has to be kept quiet for now, um, I feel like if you don't want that to be the case, you'll definitely express yourself, okay? But I do feel like it's just going to be empowering to reconnect with this person. Because it is a close connection. It's not an abusive connection. So I want to make that clear. This is not an abusive person coming back. This is a close connection. Um, this is a connection that feels familiar. might even be family. Anyway. Um, and I did say I, the world card can be the world wide web. But also someone, I think the world of you is on the bottom. And you deserve better than me. So I think somebody thinks that um, somebody might feel like they're just, the other person is just too good for them, you know. But they think the world of them. But somebody's got some crazy plan here. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. I love you all and namaste, my friends.